in the last episode. And so we continue. Ah, you. You're the last player in my little game. I urge you, do not fail, as the others have failed. Greetings and salutations, comrades, and welcome back to I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. This here is Ted. He is our last player in this game of wits against this diabolical menace known as Am. Let's go! Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand it. All the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crimps, cowards. Every one of them. But not you, Ted. No, man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take charge kind of guy. So I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out. Live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're free. you out. You're away. Well, now I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. Room of Dark. Sounds inviting. Let's go look at this arrow. Arrows pointing toward the room of dark. Should I follow it or go the other way? Which is the worst of the two choices? Well, you got many other options. You could try to climb it, probably fail. You could even jump off the edge here. I don't recommend that one. Let's uh, look at the giant octagonal box. An octagon? Unusual shape for a building. Eight sides. Why eight? Is that part of the mystery? I like your turtleneck. Right there. It's a good looking turtleneck. What's going in? Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. Ugh, clowns. I hate clowns. I'm gonna just save the, uh, confusion and go this one. right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. Um... Push. There it is. Plotting this time. He's left me here alone. Still, I feel as though I'm being watched. I would too with these creepy gargoyles. This gargoyle is even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. So you're of money. This gargoyle is even larger. Yeah, yeah. And I say that because you use words like estate, and you're wearing a turtleneck. And you've got a sweater tied around your drawbridge is in ruins. I don't trust it to hold my weight. You don't got a choice. Let's go. Look at the eyes. It's kind of weird. Go on in. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, appearance is everything. Yeah, but what do you make of those glowing eyes? It looks like it's just the leg and arms torch attached to a giant head. God, that's creepy. 
All right, look at these tapestries. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor, but never Ellen. No. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. So, you're clearly lovesick. Look at this. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. How were they ever able to fight? Because they were real men, Ted. Real men. Oh, is that Ellen? Why, it's Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Talk to her. No. Ellen looks so beautiful when she's sleeping. Yeah, that's awesome. Now talk to her. Oh, Ted. I feel so tired. So weak. Uh, this one. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. So much drama. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Aww, you all have a creepy smile. Why do you want a mirror? Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Okay. I don't think it's over here. Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Tell her. Yo, girl, I don't know where your mirror Ted, is. Please tell me you found my mirror. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Seems kind of weird, but all Go right. Back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. And then maybe a psychiatric evaluation. I don't know. That way. Is that a pentagram? There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. It's probably this owl-looking thing up here, or the ravens. On tops of the bedpost. Ah! Let's look at this glass. Glass. Pieces of a broken mirror. Cool. Can we pick it up? No, no, the uh, take. No, that one. Ow! I cut myself. Well, don't pick it up from the edges, dum dum. You dummy. Why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. There must be. Dozens of volumes. Can we read any of them? Yeah, read Damons and Their Spheres. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. Hmm. Kitab al-Azif. Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. 
From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Okay. In search of the Philosopher's Stone. Because <gasps> we have to save our bodies. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. Oh yeah, that's enough. Is there anything over here? Anything else I'm missing? Look at the bed. I feel a cold draft blowing across the bed like from an open grave. How would you know what that feels like? Were you a grave robber, Ted? I bet you were. This door looks built to withstand quite a determined assault. What about a pepper? Sorry, that was... Now this must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. It was a terrible joke. Quite an impressive collection of books. Science, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. Oh, wow. Uh, this might take a moment. First passage reads My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive, but I must try. So the dude died. His wife tricked him and he died. All right, well that was, uh, that, that took a while. Anything else? Look at this, this bed. Tell me if you feel the same grave-like. No one slept in this bed for ages. Sheets are coated with dust. You. Okay. Let's go, there's urine stains on the ground. That's gross. Oh, no, it's... it's shadows from the chandelier. Let's go! Let's go through the pentagram. That's gonna be good. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. Would it, it be... be... the gargoyles. I was just gonna ask if it's all the uh, demonic gargoyle statues. This looks like an interactive thingy. Icon! Nothing special about this rod except for the ridiculous gargoyle face on top. Mine. No. Mine. Cool. Look at the pulpit. I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. Mm, ooh. Can I touch this? It's so unlike Anne to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Uh, he's up to something. Yes. Yes, he is. Push it. It's bolted to the wall. Uh, take it. It's bolted to the wall. Uh, use it. It's bolted. There's... Swallow it. I've eaten many foul things since Anne captured us, but enough is enough. Maybe it's this one? I know one of these! Oh, they keep walking back. Okay, that's alright. It's bolted to the wall. 
One of these things is not like the others. There it is. A secret passage. What's waiting for me up there? I don't know. Ooh. Some sort of demonic rituals must go on here. No. God's name have I stumbled onto? I don't know, but I bet this is how the first Doom started. Look at this. Partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. This must be part of a black ritual. I think that's... Yeah, that's all we can do right now. Let's go see who else is in the castle. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. Hmm. Yes. Shallow and pedantic. Look at this the oven. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. Hmm. So you're familiar with them. That's useful. You know, your skin looks very bronze. Then again, so does yours. And your head is cocked kind of weird, and you have green socks. Aside from I like it. Pan hands and wrinkles, this scullery maid has quite a body. Certainly wouldn't kick her out of bed. Hey, girl. Yo, sub. Talk to me. How you doing? Excuse me. Do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. Um, I recognize that accent. Cockney. It's a Cockney accent. The poor white trash of Europe. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Let's talk about why you're just plucking feathers right here over the floor. I mean, shouldn't you be doing that over like a trash can or something? I feel like there's a more hygienic way to do that. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Hey! Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. I wouldn't want to see any harm come to that gorgeous face of yours. Mm. I think she wants you. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle? It's not very nice. Please? Please, I need to find a mirror. Talk to her, not the door. You are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. Your heart belongs to Ellen, dude. That's not very gentlemanly thing to do. Sorry, lady. I have morals. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Mm, nope, sorry. Sorry, but it's out of the question. I'm like a camel. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? It's not that at all, lady. Although your voice is kind of annoying. I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much happier. I can, you know. You're a little too persistent. Look. I am not going to make love with you. Oh, right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. 
All right. Uh, use the oven. Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. Done! All right, where's the mirror? I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is. But at least now, I can finish Oh, the you're a bitch. Hey, you're calling her a bitch. Good for you. You used me, you bitch. Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. A big fat phony. I, I, look, I wasn't trying to use you. I just wanted to know where a mirror was. Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. Listen, the old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. Um, all right. Again, useful information. Where can I find the old woman? That's kind of creepy. Uh, okay, let's go. Is Lady Ellen prepared? Oh God, it's Medusa. As ready as she will ever be, the spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. What are you doing, dude? No, go, go in there. Where did they go? <gasps> hmm, I wonder. It's the witch. What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? Uh, that's right, this conversation can turn really ugly. Better save. All right. Look at her. Horrible old witch. She seems ready to keel over any second, but it could be fatal to underestimate her. Wise man! Wise man. Don't hit the microphone. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her Prince Charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. Um... Okay. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. Uh, what the... Uh, what? What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. I don't like that idea. I, 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 I don't. I don't really like that so idea. You just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Uh, how about you do it yourself? You know, if you want something done right and all that. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror! 
Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. No, it ain't. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. I'm not sure I want you to. Just do it without the mirror, you know? I have a more reflective personality. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. And if I can't find it? What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! Oh, uh, this one. I ought to kill you instead. Ho oh, ho! Do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Um... I think... I think I missed something. What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. Perhaps there's something else I can do for you instead. Well, it has been a long time since my husband left. If you can satisfy my needs as a woman, then I will help you escape. Um... No. No. Just no. I'm not going to make love to you. I would never betray my love for Ellen. Plus, I have you standards. You do a very convincing job of playing Prince Charming. But I know you better than that. Destroy the mirror and I will let you escape into the surface world. Um... Let me think about your offer. Do not think too long. The forces at work here are not patient. Okay. That's all I needed. I don't know, but I, I want to go this way. I didn't want to go outside. Um, there's... Uh, what is it? I think it's, it's that. Fits almost perfectly. Cool! Here's the door. Oh, that's just super. The door latch is broken. No. All right. Well, hey, you know what? You 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 made progress. You know, so you know that's be proud of yourself for that. All right. Don't let that get you down. Push that. Boop. Yeah. High five. Dish. Good job. Alright, I'm going to call this an episode here. Comrades, thank you for joining me on this. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll finish up with him the next time, and then uh, we'll be into the final endgame scenario. That'll be a fun conclusion to this. So, leave a like or subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and as always, until next time. <laughs>